Alright, what's going on guys and gals? And we are back for another brew review. Yay! 21 episodes, can you believe it? 21, wow. Yeah, I know it's winter now, but it's probably going to be springtime by the time this airs. <laughs> but, anyway, yeah, that's that's we're, the beauty of technology. We're inside, so you can't tell. Yeah, so who the hell cares? There's snow out on the ground right now. Well, it's being recorded. I'm sure if you're sitting there watching it, there isn't, but who the hell cares? If there is, then there's a problem. But anyway, I'm sorry. All right, to the subject at hand, we are featuring tonight Holy Grail Ale. Monty Python's Holy Grail, yes. yes. And it says at the bottom here, if I can focus it, come on. Tempered over burning witches. Yes, burning. Interesting. <laughs> Anybody that's a fan of uh, the Monty Python guys, the comedy troupe from England, knows exactly what this is from. The cap is even pretty cool, though. I, it, gives, it gets a 5 out of 5 as far as the cap mm -hmm. looks. And, uh, pretty cool. And let's see, the bottle has some other... Excuse me. Oh, here we go. Black Sheep Brewery, Rochester, New York. So we are back in the state of New York. Mm -hmm. And the company Euro Brew, where this is from, is kind of like a merger between two different ones. Uh, Euro Bubblies and, uh, let me see here, Fisher Beverages International. Heineken Specialty Company in the U.S. Huh, that's weird. So basically these guys <laughs> merged together in September of 2002 to create Euro Brews, which is the brewer of that. So, yeah. Yes, so we are about to try I mean... Like I've said a million times to fill you new viewers in. <laughs> yep, we're going to do the cap, the opening of the cap test. Yeah. The body and head test. The smell test and all that good stuff, as you're about to see. Yes, yes. Monty Python's Holy Grail, yes. So it's kind of like an English... I love Monty Python, so it's... They're funny as hell. Can't open it by hand as usual. We haven't had a review. Ugh. We haven't had a review in a while where you can twist them off. I think the last one was what? Yingling, Maybe. Youngling. Yeah, Youngling. So, so that was like ten episodes ago. Yeah. Damn. So we're just gonna just pop this baby open. Hopefully, it doesn't spill out like the last one we had. Yeah, it was kind of. I guess it, that was kind of a fail there. Ooh, it's, there's a bubble on top of it, but it's good. It's open. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. Oh. Trade here. Hi, everybody. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> um, I can't really describe the smell. I've smelled so many beers tonight. I can't. It's not a bad smell. It actually smells pretty good, if anything. It's hard. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but it's not bad. It don't stink. No, not at all. It's not like that reindeer piss, like that Santa one. Oh, that's not oh even that was that was a pretty rough one. If you we, seen... we swore never to talk about that again, but uh, yeah, sorry about that. Light wise, it looks clear. Looks like. Yeah, we'll but, find uh, that out in the body and head test here it's, shortly. It's tempered over burning witches, so how bad could it possibly be, right? So, cheers. Here we go. He goes for the swig. Oh, yeah, by the way, shout out to your Uncle Gordy for watching all these. Uncle Gordy, love ya. We fixed the lighting, as you can see. Yeah, even though it took ten episodes to mention it, <laughs> or twelve anyway. Oh, damn cat. I think she wants a drink. No. You know what? It's not bad. Alright, we'll do the trade-off. I, uh... Monty Python's Holy Grail Ale. Tempered for burning witches. Let's try it. Monty Python. <laughs> Okay, second swig. Second swig. Make sure you swish that around. Get that swishy taste in there. <laughs> Tastes like witch's tit. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's actually pretty good. It, you know what? It tastes like a lager. Oh, I'm very, very good burp too. I, I, I have to say, it tastes like a lager. All right, so we got to do the body and head test. Yes, give me my arm, thank you. And she wants to join the show. 
We've mastered, I think, we finally got the art of pouring down. So, Wayne, you can stop bugging me now. Yeah, anyway. Um, it's a half tilt as we go up, and then we just kind of throw the rest of it in there like that. It produces and, a nice yeah, see, there foamy is. head. This is about a centimeter. Oh! <laughs> There's about a centimeter of head there, as you can see. Sorry. It's kind of slowly dissipating. I'm Blah. drunk right now, but. Uh, lager color. It's, a little darker. It's a darker than cream soda. Darker than cream soda. But it, it almost looks like Yingling Lager. Yeah. It doesn't even taste like an ale. Mm -mm. It tastes like a lager. I agree. Semi lager. Um, I could drink this. Yeah, definitely. I, I'm. We have not had much luck in these previous reviews. Yeah, so. it's kind of it's, it's a hard guessing game, you know. So uh, it's good. Yeah, buddy. Here, slide it over here. I'm going to take another swig Finish here. that off. See what it tastes like out of the cup. All right, it tastes actually better out of the cup. It's good. If it was a little colder, we've had it in and out of the refrigerator for a while, but it's, it's pretty good. But I like it. Monty Python's Holy Ale. Yay. But there you have it. And I would be... Uh, it would be very ill of me to not say this line for all those Monty Python fans out there, but this beer is no more. It has ceased to be. So it's gone. It's gone. Dead. Finito. All right, so. I this is an X beer. <laughs> and Monty Python fans, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, you would also know... Uh, I fought in your general direction, you rotten, <laughs> you rotten knigus. Alright, so that concludes this week's edition of the Brew Review, featuring Monty Python's Holy Grail Ale. It's just a model. So, uh, we'll see you later. Sorry, I'm